Hello everybody, my name is Alan, I'm from Sober Lab, and today will be another video about Home Assistant. In this video, I will show how you can install hacks. Basically, this installation is really easy, really simple, really fast, but it's really important. <laughs> Not lots of really, okay. Uh, why it? Because you need to have uh, some integrations. Why it? Because a lot of times you need to add some integrations in your system and not all the integrations that you can use it's available directly or natively in a home system. So with these hacks you can complement these integrations with a lot of repositories that you can find in GitHub. If I'm not wrong, at this moment that I'm recording the video, I have around 878 different integrations that complement all the native integration for Home Assistant. So it's worth it to have, and in the next videos, I will show how you do some integrations. And in this integration, you're gonna need to have hacks installed, otherwise, it will not work in the way that you want. So, if you like this idea and want to learn a little bit more about it, we're gonna show in this video exactly this video. But don't forget to leave your like, subscribe for the channel, and let's do it. As always, the first thing that you're gonna do is enter in the website for hacks. In the website for hacks, they write say Home Assistant Community Store. Exactly what I told, they will connect to the GitHub to have all the community applications or community integrations and uh, can find a lot of things. At the moment, 878 or something like it, but can be more and more over the time because the people like to work and like to implement solutions. Also in the website, they show that you can have a lot of integration, Python script, plugs, trims, and others that you can have. And here a quick view how look like the hacks and what you can do, but you're not gonna worry about it at this moment. We come here in the download option. In the load option, the first thing that they advise is you want to install, great, but if you don't have all these requirements, don't install because it will not work well. So let's see what we need to have. First thing that we need to have, it's a home assistant, at least version 2021.2 or over it or nearly. If you have a really old revision of a home assistant, you should update because it's not safe. You can have a lot of risk, but anyway, it will not work for the home assistant. So you have two reasons to update it. You need to have an account for the GitHub. So if you don't have an account for GitHub, stop now this video, go then create your account for GitHub. It's totally free, it's interesting to have, and uh, it's not a problem at all. So after you finish it, you create your GitHub account if you didn't have, come back for this video. Now you have to have supported Home Assist install, it's fine. You need to access your file system. Yes, you need, or you don't need, depend what's you, your view, but initially, yes, you're gonna need it. You need to have access for your log and have a stable connection. In my view, everyone that is running Home Assistant, I think that have a connection to the home or at least connect to this Home Assistant. Only if you have a really specific reason that you don't want to connect to the internet, it's okay, it's valid reason, but in my view, it's really interesting to have this uh, internet connection because you're gonna have a lot of integration that it's uh, cloud-based, not only uh, local-based, so you're gonna have restrict options for the Home Assistant. And uh, if you have your Home Assistant update frequently, it's quite safe and that you can avoid any problem, but it's your choice. If you don't have internet in your Home Assistant, you'll not be able to do the installation, so stop now. Have this one in mind, we go in the option for download. Basically for download, you have two options. The option that I like more and the option that you can do as well. The, the option that I like more is this one. You can come here in the home system, go to your SSH or your terminal and only tape this script. This script you want to gonna do. They will create your custom configuration folder. They will read, uh, save all the information there and will leave everything ready for you. You don't need to do anything. It's only run this script, wait some minutes to do the download and it's done, complete. But if you don't want to run this script, you have other options. You can, you can come here in Hacks Integration, where you can find it in the GitHub and you can download this integration. We will we'll have all these files. After make the download of the files, you're gonna open your SMB. Here in your SMB, you're gonna open configuration and you need to create a folder called Cosmer Components if you don't have. If you already have good news, don't worry about it. So inside this one, you need to create your hacks folder, but we're not gonna do it. We're gonna only run the script. You're gonna see how fast is it. 
let's come here copy this script that i want to run come here my home assistant and i come here in the terminal option here in the terminal i can come right click paste and they're right here i only put run and done the red finish for you you don't need to do anything else it's done now let's see what they did remember that i told that you need to copy that hacks folder in the home assistant so let's come here back and the red copy for you you don't need to stress it's already here all the applications that you can find your github it's here without any stress and if you didn't create this customer components folder they will create for you so it's great news don't need to worry about it so i have this one in mind now we can come here in our configuration and we can go all the way down until your server control in your server control you need to check if all the configuration is valid so you can come here and put check configuration they will appear configuration valid great you can restart if you come here and don't show this option for check configuration what you're gonna do don't worry if you come here in your user and you need to activate the advanced mode it's because you didn't activate it and it will not work as advanced mode and not have this configuration or check the configuration so let's come back here and come in the server and let's restart our server they ask you're sure that you want to restart yes i need to restart otherwise you'll not work well so let's restart it'll take some minutes to do all the restart to process everything so let's wait for it good news your home assist has been restarted so we can start to install the integration called hacks to do it we come here in configuration and click in integration here i have my integration but i can here and add integration and then i check my integration to see if everything's okay you're gonna put hacks and they will appear hacks here if they don't appear this option hacks it means that it's not working so you need to review your installation here click here they will ask you will know that you need to have this yes 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 the same information that i told you with the prerequisite for your installation so you can come here and put submit for you submit it and work you need to open this link and put this code so let's do it i come here in this link i already copy my code and i come here device activation past it and continues so they'll ask you are sure that you want to continue to this request yes i want to do it so authorize rocks and then they say configuration all set so now i can come in here in my home assistant they say successful create configuration for hacks this is great exactly that i was looking for so i can define an area yes i can but i'm not defining you know why because will be integration for the house if it will be integration for how the house how i can define where it will be about so let's leave empty because it will not affect anything for you and we can click finish here in finish the red appear hacks here and the configuration a no and the firmware that's using and the updates required so now if you see the red appear the hack option here so it's done let's see hacks and we put about here about the red appear all the repository to appear all this repository will take some time be this because i already had install rack so it's quite fast for me but if you didn't install before it will take some time until to do the first uh, download the repository it'll take around 10 minutes so don't worry about it i also already have two repository installed that will be the topic for the next videos that i will show but uh, yes you can install and what we can do let's click ok and come here into integration integration already have uh, hacks and uh, deep stack object install and if I come here for explore add repository, I can have a lot of other repositories. As I show you, 878 different ones, so you can go through 878 and see if this one fit for your needs. Basically, you can go in a device that don't have integration read natively for the home assistant, but you can find here. It's good to have these two options, then you can have most of the integrations available for your hands to do your ideas and do your projects. So guys, I hope that you like this video. It's quite fast and simple, but it's really necessary for the next videos that we will pull. Uh, so if you don't have any hacks installed, please don't forget to install. Otherwise, the next video, I will need to say, look for this link because you don't have installed rack, so it will not work to do what you need. If you like this video and think that was useful and interesting for you, don't forget to leave your like, subscribe for the channel, and see you next time. Bye.